Tonight we take an in-depth look at a mystery that shook the country, a discovery so disturbing it left us all speechless. Indiana's most prolific abortion doctor hid more than 2,000 fetal remains in his home. Two months later, we still don't know why. Wayne 15's Kai Torquay is taking a deep look into the life of Dr. Ulrich Klopfer and the women whose lives he impacted. Before we start, we would like to say this story is neither pro-life nor pro-choice. It's an investigation of how a doctor broke the law by taking home fetal remains and how to make sure something like that never happens again. We want to warn you, some of what you're about to see may be disturbing. Disturbing and unfathomable, in September 2019, more than 2,000 aborted fetuses were found in the home of Indiana's most prolific abortion doctor. And maybe most unsettling, he died before he could explain why. The pictures used in this story to represent the fetal remains help show the gravity of the events as they happened. I was horrified. I stood in my kitchen and I just, I started crying. They were sitting in cardboard boxes in a garage, forgotten and ignored. Just instantly I thought, oh my gosh, what if one of those babies is mine? I think this guy was, was warped in his head. He kept my baby as like a trophy or something. Just why? Why? The need to take them to his house, just why? Meeting Dr. Ulrich Klopfer changed their lives forever. It was excruciating, it was so painful. Abby, Kelly, Jessica, Rachel, and tens of thousands of young women were already feeling anxious about their decision to get an abortion. But his bedside manner, they didn't see coming. He didn't want to know your name. He didn't want to offer any, any kind of advice. He told me to shut up and stop crying. I, I begged him. I asked to stop. I started screaming and crying. And I said, please stop. I don't want to do this anymore. And he looked at the nurse and told her to keep me quiet because I was going to scare the other patients. Serena says after being raped by someone close to her, she was traumatized by Klopfer at just 13 years old. I was so weak. I mean, when when I stood up, blood just went everywhere. So my dad had to carry me out. I was I was so weak and I was so busted and I was 13. In one of the most tragic stories, Klopfer left pieces of fetus inside of a patient and she would have died if not for an emergency backup doctor in town. She was so sick and she, her uterus was so infected with bacteria and pieces of the tissue of baby left inside. The antibiotics didn't work. We had to do surgery eventually and we had to take her uterus out. So this young woman could never have children anymore. Klopfer's careless actions did catch up with him. His Indiana medical license was eventually suspended and his clinics in Fort Wayne, South Bend, and Gary closed for unreasonable patient treatment, bad documentation, and not reporting abortions. Is there anything else you want people to know about you and what you do? Anything else? We're all human beings. We all make mistakes and we have to deal with the consequences, okay? But no one knew the chilling secret he would take to his grave until his wife discovered more than 2,000 fetal remains at their Illinois home, in the garage, in boxes, bagged with preservation fluid. I was shocked. It broke my heart. And I, and I did cry. I cried for two weeks and I didn't know where to go and I was emailing every organization that was in the paper. It was like a wound was ripped back open. Like I had to go through that pain again. It was like it, it had happened yesterday. All these thoughts were going through my head like, what if one of them was mine? Like, what would I do? Endless questions surfaced for his patients and the public. Why did Klopfer keep the fetal remains 
Who did they belong to? What does justice look like with Klopfer being dead? As the mystery surrounding the doctor grew, the masses wondered who he was. The little known about him starts in Europe. I had heard about Dresden. Filmmakers Mark and Amber Archer sat down with the almost 80-year-old Klopfer before he died as he painted the gruesome picture of being a little boy in Germany surviving one of World War II's most deadly episodes. February of 1945, in between the Americans and the English, they firebombed Dresden for three days and two nights. The effects of the war probably may have not had a positive impact on my perception. Okay, but uh, on your perception of of what? Of human beings, what they do to each other. He wanted people to know that about him. He wanted people to understand what he had been through. His hurt and pain from it. Klopfer is the doctor these women may never understand. The negligent clinics, his bitter bedside manner, the disturbing collection of fetal remains. Even if this mystery isn't solved, they've made it their unwavering mission to make sure the likes of Klopfer never go unchecked again. This all just makes me feel inside like I need to help do something. I do not want someone else to go through what I have gone through. To see their abortionist on TV 20 years later and wonder if one of those babies sitting in a cardboard box in a garage is theirs, that is an ugly, ugly position to be in. New details are slowly emerging from the Klopfer investigation. All the fetuses are from Indiana patients from the years 2000 to 2002. In total, 2,411 fetal remains have been found in Klopfer's house and car. They're now back in their home state and will be buried after the investigation. Kaitor K, Wayne 15 News.